whoa, 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 whoa. Caillou, how dare you walk in the house? That is no reason to ground me, you stupid good for nothing grounding dad. Oh, whoa, 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 How dare you call me a good for nothing grounding dad? That's it. You're grounded, grounded, grounded forever. Go to your room now. Oh, no. What did you do this time, Caillou? I didn't. You see. Thanks for telling me, Caillou. You're now ungrounded. I will go speak to him now. Hey, honey. How's it going? Don't you hey, honey me. I know that you've grounded our son for a completely stupid reason. Well, he deserved it. He called me a stupid good for nothing grounding dad. Yet you ground our poor son constantly. You even grounded him for having a bad dream. But that's a good thing, right? Are you really that stupid or something? Sometimes I feel sorry for that poor kid. I mean ever since he was a baby, you started grounding him for the heck of it. Oh, whoa, 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 Doris, how dare you go against my grounding? You're grounded, 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 grounded for life. You can't do that to your own wife. I can, and I just did. You know what? That's it. I'm leaving. Hey, no leaving the house while grounded. You're not going to be here, Mom? Yes, things weren't working between Boris and I so I have decided to leave but I will always remember you guys. Goodbye, Caillou and Rosie. Oh no, man's gone. What are we going to do about it? I don't know, Rosie, but I know something will. Hi Boris, what did you call me here for? Um, I called you here to ask you something. What is it? Miss Ann Martin, will you marry me? Yes, I will. Caillou and Rosie, are you two still fucking sleeping? Get up and get dressed right now. There you two brats are. What took you so long? Dad, we were getting ready. What is the whole rush? Are we going to church? Yes, to have Miss Martin and I's wedding. What? Are you seriously going to marry my teacher, Dad? Yes, and you're gonna have to deal with it. Get your asses into the car or you're grounded. This wedding is sure going to be boring. I'd rather go to Chuck E. Cheese's. I'm so excited about this wedding. Same. Hey, Rosie. I got an idea. We can sneak out of this wedding and go to Chuck E. Cheese's. Yes. That's a good idea. Oh no. Caillou and Rosie escaped again. If Boris notices, they will be so grounded 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 when they get home. Yay. We finally made it to Chuck E. Cheese's. Yay. I won this game. Oh no! This stupid w- Yay! We finally made it to Chuck E. Cheese's. Yay! I won this game. Yay! We finally made it to Chuck E. Cheese's. Yay! I won this game. Oh no! This stupid wedding with child abusers is now starting. We're now gathered together to celebrate the wedding of two child abusers. This wedding is sure going to be boring. I'd rather go to Chuck E. Cheese's. I'm so excited about this wedding. Same here. Hey Rosie, I got an idea. We can sneak out of this wedding and go to Chuck E. Cheese's. Yes, that's a good idea. Let's do it. Oh no! Caillou and Rosie escaped again. 
If Boris notices, they will be so grounded 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 when they get home. Yay! We finally made it to Chuck E. Cheese's. Yay! I won this game. Oh no! This stupid wedding with child abusers is now starting. We're now gathered together to celebrate the wedding of two child abusers. Yay! I won this game. Oh no! This stupid wedding with child abusers is now starting. We're now gathered together to celebrate the wedding of two child abusers. Wedding with child abusers is now starting. We're now gathered together to celebrate the wedding of two child abusers. Dee Boris, take Miss Martin to be your lawfully wedded wife. I do. And Dee Miss Martin, take Boris to be your lawfully wedded husband. Yes, I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ugh, this couple is making me sick now. That wedding was so beautiful. I agree. I'm sorry. I didn't know this was a wedding. I'd rather die than stay here. Boris is such a bitch. I know how you feel. Leaving his old wife to go with that slut is just terrible. Hey Boris, that was the best wedding ever. Wait, where is Caillou and Rosie? Didn't they come with us? Wait. They must be at Chuck E. Cheese's to ditch our wedding. Let's go get them. Yay. We were here the whole time and no one at the wedding seems to have noticed. Oh, 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 oh. Caillou and Rosie, how dare you skip our wedding? That's it. Caillou and Rosie. You guys are now grounded, 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 grounded for 65 weeks for skipping our wedding. Now it's punishment day, first punishment. Pouring hot sauce in your eyes. Yeah. Second punishment. Making you wear nappies. Last punishment, throwing the both of you into your rooms. It really stinks on being grounded after that wedding. I wish I could be ungrounded. Caillou and Rosie, come downstairs right now. Oh my god. What does daddy want now? It's time for breakfast. Really? That's it? Just one donut? Yes. Um, hey dad, do you remember how you grounded me and Rosie after we skipped your wedding? Yeah, why? Um, I was just wondering, is there any way we can get ungrounded? Yes, there is. Really? What is it? I'll do anything. Please tell me. By sending Gilbert back to the pound. What? Why should I send Gilbert back there? Well, it's either he's gone or you both are still grounded. But that's not fair. Do it after breakfast. And I want him back there by 12 noon or you both are grounded for a longer period of time. Fine. How can I help you? We would like to return this cat here, please. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't do this, Dad. He is such a wonderful cat. No, he isn't Caillou. He is a very annoying cat. But please don't do this. Don't you remember? We made a deal. Fine. Anyways, the cat is right here. Okay, thank you for coming and I will take the cat to a cage. <coughs> Hope you guys come again soon. Goodbye, Gilbert. Gilbert is gone. Let's celebrate. Man, with Gilbert gone, it's so boring here. Maybe I should watch TV. Let's see what shows are on now. There's nothing I like to watch. Maybe I should go take a walk. After all, I need time for myself. And maybe I'll have time to go to Chuck E. Cheese's.
Wait. Are you Caillou? Yeah. Why, don't you remember me? I'm one of your brothers, Dayu. What? Dad never told me I had another brother. Here's what happened. As soon as I was born, Dad put me and the other 24 brothers up for adoption after Rosie was born. By the way, Rosie's your half-sister, not your 100% sister. So wait. If Rosie is my half-sister, who is her actual mom, our teacher, Miss Martin? I am so angry at Dad for not telling me any of this. He fucking lied to me after four years of living here. Anyways, Dayu, want to live with us again? Yes. That would be great. How about to celebrate? We go to Chuck E. Cheese's, yeah. Let's do it. Oh no. It's your dad. He found us. What? What the hell? I thought. You were supposed to be gone you little bastard. You back off asshole. All my life you treated me and my siblings like crap. I won't let you hurt him again. Why hasn't mom left your sorry ass yet? That skank is long gone. I'm married to Miss Martin she's way hotter than Doris's old ass. And by the way, we're going home right now. Caillou, how dare you do that without my permission? I would have grounded you right away. But I decided to make a deal with you. You can either have Dayu stay here and you get grounded or you send him back to where he came from and still be ungrounded. I choose to keep him. Ever since you got rid of Gilbert, he's the only one left that will always be on my side. Fine then, since you chose that, you're grounded 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 for 56 days. Go to your room now. Wah Ha! Huh. Who are you? Hi Rosie, I'm one of Caillou's long lost brothers, Dayu. By the way, I'm here to tell you that Doris isn't your real mom, Miss Martin is. What? This is messed up. I can't believe I'm the daughter of a slut. But even though Doris isn't my mom, I'm still going to find her. Yes! I finally escaped. Now I can't find Doris. Wow, she is a good hitter. I went around the parks, the restaurants, and every house and she is not there. But that doesn't mean I'm going to give up. Doris. Rosie, it is a surprise to see you. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Me and Kat, why you miss you? Rosie, how dare you sneak out of the house to look for your slutty mother? First off, why are you lecturing Rosie and how dare you call me a slut? Well, Boris and I had a marriage a few weeks ago so that makes me her new stepmother. And I'm taking her home. See you later, you bitch. What? I can't believe that. He doesn't care about anything but himself. What a bitch. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, oh. Stop it. No, this is something that you deserve, you little bastard. By the way, you're grounded, grounded for 56 days. After this, you will go to your room. Side, this is so tiring watching over those three brats like we're maids or something. Yes, I do agree with you, Boris. What should we do? Just the two of us. Wait, I know. How about we go kill some time at a bar? To get high and separate a good time, just you and me, sweetheart. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. But first, let's put those brats into bed. Hey, Dad and Miss Martin, 
We're back from Chuck E. Cheese's. Caillou, Bayou, and Rosie, it's bedtime. Go to bed right now. But we still have 30 minutes left until our bedtime. I don't give a fuck. Go to bed right now or you're grounded. Fine. Hey, Boris, now that they are in bed, we can go to the bar. Hello. What can I do for you two? Me and my hot lover would like two drinks each. Here you guys go. Enjoy. Man, that felt so good. Oh yes, I feel so high right now. Hey Boris, can we stay here for a while? I just want one more drink. Yeah, me too. That was a good rest. Let's go get pizza for breakfast. Oh no, there's the bus. Let's not miss it. I'm late for work. But forget that. I want more drinks. Me too, babe. Let's get more. I wonder where is Miss Martin? Me too. Yeah, because she never came late before. Hey, Diane and Rosie, we can go to Chuck E. Cheese's since there's no teacher here. Since some people are leaving, I guess we should go too. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yay. This is the best day ever. We don't have to go to school and we get to go to Chuck E. Cheese's. That was a great time at the bar, but I feel strange. Yeah, me too. Wait, are Caillou, Dayu, and Rosie at the school? I don't know, but I'll check. Hello, is this the principal? Is Caillou, Dayu, and Rosie in the classroom? What? There's nobody in there? I'll call you back later. There is no one in the classroom. Those bratty kids probably went home. So where do you think the three brats went? Chuck Chucky Cheeses. Cheeses. Those brats will be so grounded when we get them. Then let's go. This is so much fun. Freedom from school and so much games and food. I'm so happy we weren't caught yet. Oh guys, look behind you. Oh, whoa, 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 Dayu and Rosie, how dare you leave the school and go to Chuck E. Cheese's? But there was no teacher at the school. So everyone in our class left too. I don't give a fuck. Get your asses into the car or you guys will get more punishments when we get home. Now that we're home you guys are so whoa 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 grounded 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 for 105 days. Now we will start with punishment day. First punishment, eating cat food. Or else you will get beat up. This tastes so disgusting. Second punishment, sending the three of you to jail for three weeks. You guys will be going to jail for three weeks. Come with me you three. Third and last punishment, beating you up. Now you know, I never want to see you trying to skip school. Behave or something like this will happen again. Go to your shitty rooms now. It's really boring with no one around, just myself. HM, maybe I should take a walk to kill some time. And maybe I'll run into either Caillou or Rosie. It's the pound. I'll stop by to see some of the animals. Hello. How can I help you? I came by to see some of the animals. Okay, follow me, miss. Here are some of the animals that we have. 
Would you like to adopt one? Wait a minute, that cat looks familiar. Is that? Yes, it is. It's Gilbert. What's he doing here? Oh yeah, a family came to drop him off two months ago. Did the father had a green sweater? Yes. So it was boys who did this? Because I know Caillou would never agree to do this. I would like to adopt Gilbert. Okay, come to the front desk to fill out some papers. It's awesome that I adopted Gilbert again. And I'll try my best to get him back to Caillou. But first, Boris will pay for making Caillou send him back to the pound. And always grounding him for fun. Hey, there you are. Where have you been? We were supposed to go to dinner tonight. Oh, right. Um, sorry babe. I had to, uh, grade papers for my dumbass students. Most of them failed. Oh, that explains it. Well, how about tomorrow night? Ah, uh, sure. Promise to be there, haughty. Well, now that that's settled out, I'm going to bed. Hey, baby. No. No, he doesn't suspect a thing. He's such a dumbass. I mean, come on. Yeah. Oh, please. The only reason I married him was to beat the shit out of those three ugly bastards. Oh. Don't worry, I meet you there tomorrow night. Okay, love you. Bye. I'm so hungry. Where are those two? I'm starving. They didn't even feed us breakfast. I don't know. I feel so weak. And Rosie didn't even leave her room in days either. I'm scared. Plus my arm is still sore from three days ago after daddy kicked us. I feel so sad. What? Rosie? You are out of your room. Why are you crying? I... I miss mommy so much. But Miss Martin is your mom. So? I don't care she's treated me like shit all my life. She says I'm ugly, stupid, everything. I feel terrible. I hate me. I wish. I wish we had Doris back. She's not my real mom. But I miss her so much. I wish she came home. I know Rosie. This has been awful. I miss her too. Maybe someday she'll come back. At least. I hope. Yeah? Don't worry, babe. I'll meet you there in about five minutes. I'm coming now. Bye. Hey, babe. Ready to go in? Yeah. Let's go. She promised yesterday that we would go on our date. I'll see if she's at the fancy restaurant. I'm so happy we got to be together today, babe. Me too. Let's kiss. Miss Martin, how could you do this to me? I thought we were going to be together forever. You lied to me this whole time. Hello. I have to get out of here quick. Well, he is more hotter than you are. And you're a complete idiot anyway. We're going to have a fight right now. I'm going to hide under the table. Miss, you are under arrest for causing a fight. We will begin your trail shortly. I want a divorce. Do you hear, Boris? And I will be back. Boom. That was close. Now time to go home. Aha. Uh -huh. Boris. We found you. You're under arrest for starting a fight at the fancy restaurant and for committing child abuse. But what about those annoying three brats? Family services will come to pick them up. 
you will go to court in a week to decide if you're guilty or innocent of all your actions. We have gathered today to decide if either Boris is innocent or guilty of child abuse. Verity also known as the Goanimid Guy 2001 to the stand, Boris is such a bitch. He always assaults Caillou for fun and he doesn't care about anyone but himself. He even once tried to ground the whole entire world. That is so stupid, I say he should be locked up for life. I now call Doris to the stand. My drunk and crazy ex-husband always grounded Caillou for the heck of it. He needs to be locked up for many years as his punishment, and I want to divorce him for good. Now I'm going to give my speech about the family and how all the shit is fake. I hate all children. They are all spoiled brats. I'm the boss of the whole entire world. Caillou is the worst son I ever had. But you always assault him for the fun of it. And do that when you punish him. That's child abuse. I don't give a fuck on what you guys say. I'm allowed to do whatever I want with my children. Caillou is the worst human being in the world. That's all that I have to say. Goodbye. If you don't shut the fuck up, Caillou, I would kill you. And that goes for everyone. Me and the others say that this man is guilty of child abuse. Then, it is settled. Boris, you're guilty. You will be sentenced for 30 years in prison. What? I demand a second chance. But I'll be back. Just you wait. Wait. Whoa, that was close. But I think we were going to win since the beginning. Oh yeah, that reminds me Caillou, I have something for you. Yay. Gilbert is back. Thank you mom. You're welcome Caillou, it's great to be back. Mwah. Uh, uh. Rosie? What? What happened? I... I had a bad dream, Mommy. I dreamed Daddy came back and was chasing me with a knife. I'm so scared. Sweetie. Shh. He won't be coming back anytime soon. He got 30 years to life, remember? If he dares to touch a single hair on your head, I will kill him. I promise. Thanks, Mommy. I... I feel a lot better now. But can you sleep here for a night? Just to be safe? Okay. Just for tonight? Alright you have school tomorrow sweetie. Better get some shut eye. I love you so much sweetie. I promise to always be here for you. Lights out maggots. It's all their damn fault I'm stuck in this shed hole. Great. Larry the murderer snuck me the stuff. I'm not going to be here for 30 fucking years. I'm out of here. Man, I have to find somewhere to hide from the goddamn cops. Wait, I know, I'll hide in the abandoned warehouse. No one will find me there. I'll steal some new clothes tomorrow. Yes, I found it. Now I'll stay here for tonight. Tomorrow, I'll go to steal some clothes. This will be the perfect place for me to stay for a while. When I get out of here, Caillou and Boris are going to fucking get it. We have a code red. Code red. Prisoner is escaping. Oh shit. I have to hurry. I'm not going back. We got her. Hold it right there. Yay. Thanks, Mommy. Guys. We have a huge problem. Look at the TV. I'm standing in front of the courthouse, Tom, with shocking news. Two convicted criminals, Anne Martin and Boris Kayla, escaped maximum security prison last night which left officers severely injured. He is fighting for his life in the hospital and the force is hard at work trying to find the two. If you see them call 911, they are armed and dangerous. Oh. oh my god! He... he's on the loose. I'm so scared. I'm scared too. But if he tries to hurt any one of us, we should call 911. Anyways, you guys should get ready for school, and I'll call you guys when breakfast is ready.
I'm so worried. I hope my children will be safe. Hi, guys. Guess who's back? Oh, my God. Guys, run. Dora, what do we do? Hey, wait for us. Oh, hello you four. What brings you guys into my office? We just saw Miss Martin in the hallway and she looked very scary. <laughs> That's not Miss Martin. That's Miss Carson, your new teacher. Wait. Miss Carson? Yeah, don't worry. She's still in the slammer. But, 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 she's not. She's... That's it. I heard enough nonsense. Go back to class or you guys will get detention for three hours. Now go. Darn it. The principal didn't believe us. What should we do? I don't know, but we should avoid getting on her bad side. Especially when she has her knives. I heard that she's a master at throwing them. Okay, you little spoiled brats. Take out your motherfucking textbooks. I have an even better question. How did you get your job back? I thought you were supposed to be locked up for life. <laughs> well, yes. My sexy baby is finally out of that shit hell. I got the stuff, sugar. You ready to become Ms. Carson? You better believe it, babe. So you basically snuck in, used a disguise, seduced our vice principal, and got your job back? Yes. Isn't it awesome? Another chance to torture you guys? Anyways, let's get this motherfucking lesson over with. I guess we will be getting used to Ben torture for this year and probably our whole lives. Yeah, I hope daddy doesn't try to hurt us. Wow, there is so much clothes. I'm going to steal some clothes and get out of these shitty clothes. Yes. Now to get out of here. Aha. Uh -huh. Boris. We found you once again. Time to die. You're not taking me away. No oh 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 oh. Yes, he's dead. Now to get out of here, for real. Yay. I have escaped. Now, that everything's back to normal, time to find those little brats. They better watch themselves. Those brats will be mine. <laughs> Hi kids. So? How do I look? Do you think it's good? Or should I put something else on? Mommy, you look like a princess. Yeah, yeah Rosie's right. Aw. Thanks guys. Well, time to drop you guys off at Dora's house. Thanks so much for agreeing to babysit while Elena and I go to Jessica's wedding party. It's not wrong with Doris. He got them on me for the pizza, and if that son of a bitch shows up, he'll kill him. Well, time to go. Bye, sweetie. Doris, I love you so much. Will you marry me? Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Yes, I will. <laughs> the tickles. Doris, are you okay? What? Oh, um, yeah, I'm fine, Alana. Let's go. Oh, my God. I can't wait to dance. Same here. Jessica is so lucky and Bruce is such a sweetheart. They are perfect for each other. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Glad to see an actual good wedding. Can you believe I had to marry two child abusers like two years ago? Hello, I'm Mark. What's your name? Oh, uh, and my name is Doris. Nice to meet you. Want to dance? You seem a bit lonely. Yeah. I mean, uh, sure. 
Let's go. Thanks for asking me to dance. I had fun, man. It's a bit chilly. Oh, don't worry here. Take it. Whoa. You're a cop? Oh, yeah. I'm a friend of Bruce. I'm not on duty, though. Hey, aren't you the wife of that guy? Boris, is it? Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. No. No. It's okay. I guess. I'm just still upset about the whole thing. Crazy thing is that we dated back in high school and now, the bastard she's on me with Miss Martin and I thought she was my best friend and now he's coming after my children. I can't stand it, Mark. I'm... I'm losing my mind. I'm so sorry. I didn't know how much trouble it has been for you. But let me tell you something. If that man cheats on a beautiful woman like you, he's way more dumber than I thought. I mean it. Don't worry, we'll catch him, I promise. Oh. Uh, thanks, Mark. I better go meet up with Elena. I guess I'll see you around. I think this is the start of a great friendship, and here's your jacket back, too. What were you doing over there? Um, mopping. Just talking to some random guy. Who? Got a new crush. Uh, no, no, no. Attention. It's time for the bride to throw the bog. Whoa. Um, well. Who? Looks like someone's getting married soon. Good. And it better be someone better than that bitch Boris. I cannot believe this motherfucker. Thinking she can go marry someone. She can't escape from me. Hmm, maybe I should go to the bar. I've been losing my mind without wine anyway, and I better not see the motherfucking slut in that bar. Or else there's a reason why I have knives. Wait, let me put my hoodie up so the cops do not see my face. There, that's better. Yes, the bar, with wine. Many hot girls, this is a life. Hello, sir. What kind of drink would you like today? I would like a medium drink of syrup. Here you go, sir. Yes, that feels good. Is there any more left? You, what are you doing here? I was just going to ask the same thing. What matters is that we had unfinished business two years ago. Oh. You want to fight, don't you? Only if you're up to it. I can't wait to beat the shit out of you. Hello, is this the police? Two people are assaulting one another. Come to stop the nonsense quick. Oh fuck. We got to get out of here. Wait, wasn't that Boris? Yeah, that was him. We should follow him. Oh shit. It's the police. Now to get out of here. Ah, home sweet home. So, this is where Boris is hiding. Are you going to stay here for the game, Rosie? Yes. I'll meet you guys at home. I guess I should be going home now. You? What are you doing here? I was looking all over for you. Now you're going to come with me and live with me, just like a mother and daughter should. You? You actually think you're my mom? That's not what you said when you gave me away. At least I'm not an ungrateful bastard. Shut up. 
Get back here, you son of a bitch. Sorry, Doris. I have to go. Goodbye, Doris. Goodbye, Zumzi Erica XDTGUI. Rosie, why are you crying? Miss Martin found me and tried to take me away, so I ran all the way home. Yeah, that's right. I'm her mother. So give her to me or else you and those other two brats will die. Never! You were a terrible mother. You left her, abused her, and gave her away. Why does she deserve to be with you? Rosie, go play upstairs. I don't want you to get hurt. If you don't back off of them, I will call the cops to send you back to jail again. Ha, huh, I don't care. The cops are totally useless now. There's a reason why I have throwing knives. Get the fuck out of my life, you ginger STD-filled bitch. Get over here, you skank. Make me. <coughs> now get the fuck out of my house. Or else do you want me to kick your ass again? Fine. But next time, it won't be easy. I'll be back soon. And she better give me what I want. Motherfucking bitch. Damn it, Bayou. You're always late. You're going to miss breakfast. And after you finish, you're going to start working on the field. What? I don't want to work there again. We don't care. Now eat your damn breakfast or you'll face more discipline. Get to work you lazy ass bitch. I don't even know who would want an ugly piece of shit like you. I'm sick and tired of working here. I want to go and find my real parents. But first, I should sneak out of here, making sure no one sees me. Yay. I finally got out of here. HM, maybe I should try to find an airport. I don't know if my parents would like to live here. Wait a minute, I see an airport up ahead, to Goanomit City. I'll take that one. Hello. What can I do for you? I want a plane ticket to go to Goanomit City. Okay. Your plane will arrive at 4 o'clock a.m. You can wait at the bench over there. Thank you, sir. Sig, I can't wait to get out of the city. What time is it? It's 4 o'clock a.m. Yay. Yeah. It's here. I better hurry. We're now taking off the Guanamut City. Wow. I can't believe I finally made it. Huh? Who are you? I'm Bayou, one of your brothers. Really? What happened to you? After we were born, we were all split up, especially Dayu. Dayu got a family and the others, including me, got into an orphanage. Every day at 2 a.m., we had to work in an empty field, harvesting wheat and other plants. It was so tiring until I decided to escape and I eventually ended up here. Whoa, what an adventure. Bayu, want to live with us? Sure. I'll stay here. But is the psychopath gone? Oh, don't worry about him. He's long gone. Now it's just us, Mom, Gilbert and Rosie. Awesome, but I hope he doesn't try to hurt us. Me too. Let's go inside. And celebrate. <laughs> Well Doris, I got to go. Nice talking to you too. Hey Officer Mug. We have a problem. With more shocking news, one of our city's police women was killed by an unidentified person. Some of the city's people rumor that it was one of our convicted criminals, Boris. We now bring Go Animator 101 Animations 2016 Studios, who will speak of what happened. I was enjoying a nice stroll outside, 
Then I saw a man with a green hoodie and a black mask running out of the bar with several knives. It looked like it was Boris. Then the police officer came to arrest his sorry ass. But it was too late. He had already killed her and ran off. There you have it folks. The police officers will search for Boris and where he is staying. That's all for now. We found someone. Really? Who? Hi mom. I missed you so much. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my baby. Another one of you is finally home. I missed you so much. I. I missed you so much mommy. Boris. He really messed us all up. Huh? Yes. He sure did. This has been a long day. I hope Boris doesn't continue to create chaos or else I will put an end to him. Officer Mark Davis, come to the front desk. Now what happened? Hello Officer Davis. Here we have three people who know where Boris is hiding. Yeah. We even took pictures of it. Look. The old abandoned house on 43 Forest Road? Yeah. We saw Boris coming in and out of that house. Then, let's locate the house and then we'll find him. We'll officially put an end to that bastard. Oh shit. They know where I am. I better try to find another shitty location. I don't give a fuck if the house is nice or not. I just care that they don't find my ass. Rosie, why are you and your brothers still up? Well, I always have nightmares. The boys are scared too. We are afraid if Boris or Miss Martin will try to kill us. Don't be. I promise you I and the other cops aren't going to give up. Yeah. Thanks for cheering me up, Dad. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It's just, I'm sorry, Mr. Mark. No, no. It's okay, sweetie. Tell you what. You can call me whatever you like. You guys can call me Mark if you want. But if you really want to, I guess you can call me Dad too. Thanks, Mark. Hey, Dayu and Leo. You two bitches stay awake or you have detention. And by you and Clementine, is that gum you are chewing? Um, yes ma'am. That's it. You two motherfuckers have detention. Get your asses to detention now. Anyways, it is now 2.30 p.m. Class dismissed. Get your asses out of here now. I can't believe she gave me detention. I know it's so stupid. She never cared about gum before. She's just doing this to mess with us. All I know is that mommy is going to be upset about the detention part. Yeah, I know. Well, it could be worse. Even if she does ground us when we do wrong, at least she doesn't hurt us like our so-called dad. Well, I guess I'll get this over with. I'll see you guys at home. Oh, Dayu, I'll meet you at the entrance. There's something I have to do. Oh, what is it? Hey. It. It's nothing. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. I want to ask Doran on a... You know. Date. I knew it. You can do this. I'll meet you out in the front in a while. Good luck. Hey. Dora. Oh. Hi, Caillou. What's up? Um, I was thinking, since this weekend is a three-day weekend because of Go Anime Day next Monday, do you want to go on a date? Maybe tomorrow night? Sure! How about we meet at my place at 7 o'clock? Perfect. I made reservations at the restaurant my mom and dad used to go to. The fancy one? I think it's called Loon Argenti. It gives Italian and French food. Awesome! And on Sunday or Monday we all can go to the beach. I'll bring pizza for all of our friends too. Well see you there. Bye Dora. Bye. I have a date. Oh my god. What do I even wear? What about my hair? What do I say? That's it.
I think I'm going to need help. I'm still disappointed though. But tell you what, because Miss Martin is already pushing it I won't ground you for a week. But for the next three days you'll be grounded. Okay mommy. Bright side, least you aren't gonna kick my ass like Boris. Guess you're right. Hello? Mark? What's going on? What happened? Doris, I need you to listen to me carefully. Some people told us they knew where Boris was but he wasn't there when we made it. He's on the run again. Listen I don't want you or your kids to get hurt. Get to a friend's house. I'm sending a car to you. Be safe. Okay? Mark. Mark. I think I see him. Come on. I have to hurry. Let me put up my hood. Maybe then it'll help me hide. Ugh, I gotta lose these assholes. Oh, Angie. I think that was Boris. Hey. Get back here, you ass. Stop. In the name of the law. This is Officer Toby. We need backup. Now. Okay, the food is ready. Thanks for letting us stay here tonight, guys. Well, we'll head inside to serve the kiss. You? What the fuck are you doing there, you actually? Where is Doris? I know she is here. What the hell is wrong with you? I can't you just leave the balloni? You should talk, jackass. Get over there in um school. Miguel. No. Mark. Police. Help. We need a police car at 438 West. Hurry. Help. Yay. And tomorrow, I'll help you with your makeup for your date, and so will Clementine and Sarah. Mommy. What? What's going on? Where's Daddy? It's Boris. He and your dad are fighting in the front. Sweetie, hide in the closet. Get the boys too. Doris and I are trying to stop him. Get back here. Sweetie. Yeah. This is Officer Toby. I need an ambulance. Now. That bastard. He's going to pay if you want to hurt someone. <laughs> Destroy what they love most of all. I don't want him to die. Yeah, me too. And probably Dad will try to come after us next. By the way, Clementine and Sarah are coming over to help you get ready for your date. That must be them. You wait here, I'll go get the door. Okay. I'll wait here. But I'm still nervous though. This is my first time going on a date, but how hard can it be? With support, this should be easy. I'm so happy for Dora. She finally got a date. Is she upstairs? Yes, but first, let me get her makeup kit. What? Where's Dora? Hey guys, I got the kit. What? Where did she go? That's what we were wondering. Huh? Maybe she might be in another room. Let's go find her. Where am I? Why am I here? Because I want to kill your motherfucking ass. Boris? What are you going to do to me? Your fucking father already got a piece of me. So I figured to torture your ass right here, right now. I don't need these fucking knives to do this. Come here. I'm worried about her. But wait, you don't think? Elena won't be happy about this. Hello children. Why do you guys look worried? Dora is missing and we think she was kidnapped.
Hello? Who is this? Hello. You're scared, aren't you? I've got your fucking daughter and I'm never letting her fucking ass go. But I will, if you give Miguel to me to finish his ass off. You choose. <laughs> Children, you can go play upstairs. I'm going to call the police. Hello? Mark? It's Elena. My daughter has been kidnapped. Please help find her. Oh shit. I have to get out of here. Oh my god. What happened to you Dora? We are going to have to take you to the hospital right away. I'll call an ambulance. Hello. I need an ambulance right away. A girl was tortured in a dungeon. Okay. We will meet you in the front. Oh Dora. I will call your parents to meet you in the hospital. Hello. Elena. I found your daughter. You need to come to the hospital. Immediately. Dora, are you alright? Mommy. Daddy. Boris abused and tortured me. Miguel and Elena, I think you should go on a vacation to avoid any other conflict with my psychopathic ex-husband. Two of you almost died by his hands, and what if he tries to kill you Elena? Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't want him to destroy our family. We'll try to go out of the city for a while. But we will be back in two weeks. The plane leaving to Miami will depart in two minutes. Please board on fast if you have your ticket. Oh, I guess this is our plan. Well, it looks like we're going then. Goodbye Doris. Goodbye Caillou. Goodbye Bye, Elena. Oh shit. I ran out of money. Now how am I supposed to buy my cigarettes? Wait, I know. I'm going to rob the bank. Ha 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 ha. Wow. Look at all this money. Just enough for a year's supply of cigarettes and trips to the strip club. Oh shit. I better grab all the money and get out here quick. There. That's better. Now to get out of here. Wow, what happened here? Where did all the money go? The bank has been robbed. Now there's shitty wanted posters of me everywhere. I've got to get somewhere safely. Psst. In here. Hello Boris. We heard about you on the news this morning. We want to ask you to be a part of our gang. Why should I join you fuckers in your stupid ass gang? Well, we are the number one gang at crimes and we were never, ever caught with our crimes. When you're with us. You're unstoppable and can get away with everything. You in? Really? Yeah. We will always be here for you, Boris. Then yeah. I'm in. Perfect. Here's your gun for your protection. Wow. Thanks. Yeah. Are you watching this, Doris? I become more powerful. Now no one can stop me. We finished breakfast. We're heading off to school. Hello everyone. I'm Miss Lauren Shelley, but you can call me Miss Shelley. Miss Carson is out for the rest of this week because she is sick, so why don't you all introduce yourselves to me? Our new substitute teacher was really nice. Yeah. She actually made school fun instead of hell like how Miss Martin did. I wish Miss Shelley was our teacher forever. Well, come on, guys. Leo is more interested in me. No, he isn't. He likes me more than you. He just doesn't know it. I don't know what to do with you girls. 
See? Now look what you did. You creeped him out. No I didn't. You did. You just don't know it. Leo wants to be my boyfriend. Keep trying, but you will never take him away from me. I'm his main girl. You're just the side chick. Nice try. Leo always hung around me more than you. It's obvious he would want me more than a classic girl like you. Ready to rob another bank? You bet Amorous. I got the weapons in case of any Damas cops come to try to get our asses. Awesome, those cops won't know what hit them. Caleb, are we there yet? Yeah. We had arrived. Who wants to go? I'll go in. in. Those damn cops won't stop me. But wait, I'll put on my hoodie before I go in. There. That's better. I'm going in guys. You're back. I thought something happened to you back there. You got the money? Yeah, I did. The alarm almost got me caught. Ready to head out? Yeah. Let's go before the police show up. My boys are getting so big. I need some new clothes for them. I'll head over to the clothing department to see if they have anything. Now that I'm here, I'll look around. Boris, that was an amazing job how you robbed that fucking bank without getting caught by those stupid ass police guys. Wow. Thanks. Wait, is that? Oh, uh, guys, I'll be right back. There's something I have to do. You guys can go to the club without me. I'll meet you there. Don't worry. Are you kidding me? Fuck! This is going to take forever. Sheesh. This fucking mine takes forever. I have to hurry. I don't want Boris to try to kill my children behind my back. Next. Man! That line took forever. Now to get home and make the kids dinner. You better watch yourself, Doris. You and your stupid ass kids will be mine. So this woman is Miss Martin. Her slutty ass should not even be here, abusing these poor children every single day and doesn't even give a fuck. I have to warn someone about this. Babe, I'm so happy that I finally got a break from those bitches. Why not we go to the bar for a celebration? And don't worry, I assure you that we aren't going to run into my asshole ex-boyfriend again. He's probably scared that I'm going to murder his ass. I'm so excited to get even more high. Yeah! And if your second ex-wife shows up, you already know what to do. Me, Amaris, and Liam are going to stay in the car while Boris and Caleb get the drinks. You really taught that bitch a lesson. By the way, I got the drinks. Great. Mission accomplished. Hey, Caleb, I'm going to go out again in the morning. I'll leave you a text that time gone. Okay. You? What the fuck do you want from me? Oh, excuse me. I was wanting to, you know, ask you if you wanted to come back with me. Never! You were a liar, cheater, and now, you're a murderer. You just don't get it, Doris. I want you back. Why else do you think I'm stalking you all day and all night? Now you've became a creeper. Get away from me. I don't want a murderer for a husband or a cheater, and lastly, stop stalking me. I don't want you anymore. Fine then, you might not say it now, but I know you'll come back to me, I know it. Aha. Uh -huh. Boris, I found you. Put your hands up. Now. Die, Mark. It's game over for you. Now to get out of here. Oh, 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 it hurts so bad. Oh my god. Mark, 
We, we need to call an ambulance right away. Oh my god! This man has been shot. We need to take him to the hospital right away. HM, it looks like he lost a lot of blood, but we will try to recover him in the best ways you know. I hope I will be okay. I don't want my life to end like this. It can't be game over already. Boris has gone nuts. Now that I've finished off Mark's ass, now it's time for you fuckers to die. Hey! Get out of the house or I will call the police you monster. It's too late for that. Now time to finish you assholes off. For good. I'm okay. Whoa, what a terrible nightmare. Mark, we have good news. Really? What is it? You're alive. But the bullet damaged your leg and your bones are fractured. So you'll have to be in the wheelchair for about two months. Oh well, guess it's better than nothing. Feel so high right now. Who wants to go on a drive? You bet. Don't forget the alcohol. Hey guys, want to blow up the slutty bitch's house? Sure. I killed her fucking asshole boyfriend already. Time to make her suffer some more. Wish me luck. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Oh shit. My house is on fire. I have to run, and I got my knives for protection in case if any damn police show up. That bitch deserves to lose her house. Let's go home guys. Oh shit. The police are coming. Run. That was close. Where's Boris? Freeze. You four under arrest. Get your butts in the police car right now. Die you sons of a bitch. Ah. Your gun doesn't work. Get in now. Damn it. We've been caught. These police have nothing to do in their motherfucking lives. We will be back. And you guys know it. So what did you call me here for, Mr. Davis? Don't act so absent-minded, you dirty slut. Or should I say also known as Miss Martin? What? Are you joking? I'm not Miss Martin. I never heard of that name before. Go and get your research right, you bitch. Miss, I would like you to take out your ID. You got to catch me first, you fucking assholes. Freeze. You're now under arrest. And oh look. Someone dropped their ID. And the sticker fell off of it. You? What the hell do you want from us? Well, excuse me. I was enjoying my own fucking business, but now that you're here, I might as well finish your asses off right here. Get the hell away from us. You are going to pay, you fat, ugly ass bastards. You are going to pay for putting me away. Come here. Run. Get back here, faggots. Ha! You've reached the dead end. Now time to finish your asses off. I'll see you in the afterlife. Dear Boris, after all this time, we found you. And your gun doesn't work anymore. How do you know you bitch? It's time to end your pathetic ass lives. What? What the hell? My gun doesn't work anymore. That right you ass. Now it's time to end this now. Get into the police car right now or we will shoot you ourselves. This is fucking bullshit. Let me go, you fucking blonde. You haven't seen the last of me. Wow. We did it. Dad is finally arrested. Yeah. 
Let's go home and tell mom about this. Hello? Oh, hello, Mark. What happened? Hey, Doris. I have some terrific news. We finally caught Boris and Anne Martin. Really? That's amazing. But now what will happen? In a week from now, we need you and your kids to come to court. We're going to finish this once and for all. Then, let's get this over with. Bye, Mark. What happened, Mommy? Kids, next week, we have to go to court. They're going to find out if Boris and Miss Martin are guilty of murdering police officers and abusing you guys. Oh no. Not again. I'm nervous too. What if Boris and Miss Martin try to escape in the future again? Me too. But like I said, let's get this over with. Well, now it's time. I'm super nervous. Me too. I don't want Dad to try to hurt us in there. Well, kids, let's go! Now it's time to take your asses down. You bitches will regret putting me away. This court is now in session. You may be seated. I will now call our first victim of crime. I call Butterman 2001 to the stand. Well, Boris is an evil bitch. He kidnaps a girl, tortures her, and killed a lot of police officers. He almost loves grounding everyone. It's so stupid. I say he's guilty. Boris is the worst man ever. He tortured the girl he kidnapped and he robbed many stores and banks. He also was part of the house and fire incident. As for Mrs. Martin, she tortured her class every chance she got. I say, they're both guilty. Boris stole from bars too. He came in every night and got his hands on most of the drinks in the club with his gang. Boris tried to kill me for some of my money. Luckily. The police got there and saved me while that monster ran away like a chicken. I witnessed Boris running away from a bank with all of the money. And driving away with his gang. What a five he is. My ex-husband has gone completely crazy. He cheats on me with that ginger STD filled bitch. Abused my children two years ago. Now, he's killing police officers and involved in gangs. I say he's guilty. And like before, I want to divorce him completely. For many years, Daddy has abused me and sent me up a room with me badly beaten and no food to eat. Now, I'm haunted with dreams with Daddy trying to kill me. And before the police came last week, Daddy tried to get me, Dai Yu and Bei Yu to live with him. When I tried to defend us, we were so scared when Dad held a weapon and ran. We were running until we hit a dead end. And he had his gun in his pocket and tried to kill us. As for Mrs. Martin, she abused us every chance she got as soon as she got back to the school. Until the police found out that she was hiding herself. I want this to end now, and I say, they both are guilty. I agree. That was awesome speech, Caillou. No, Caillou's speech was bullshit. See, all of your speeches were fucking lies. Those four bitches were just some peeps, not my fucking retarded ass gang. You fuckers think those police officers died because of me? No. Bullshit. They died because of the stupid ass wind. Really? How did you know that they died? If you didn't kill them, you wouldn't have known that they were killed. Yeah. Stefan has a point there. That just proves that you killed them yourself. All of you who say that I abused those motherfuckers are wrong as fuck. You see, I never laid my beautiful and sexy ass hands on those mutts. I'm on Boris' side even though he killed my boyfriend. Wait, so you were the one who killed that guy in the bar? Um, 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 um. Tell the truth. Now. Um, 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 yes I did kill the guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this proves that Boris and Miss Martin are guilty of crime. Boris stated that it was the wind who killed those police officers. But how could it be the wind? That's the most stupidest thing that I have ever heard. After hearing all of your speeches, it looks like Boris and Miss Martin are guilty of crime. So I pronounce them guilty of murder, robbery, and child abuse. This time, next week, these two monsters will be executed by fire. Any last words before I light this room on fire? Face my teeth. Face it. Way <laughs> Time's up. Goodbye forever. Boris, 
I love you so much. I know, that Boris gave you a hard time. But I'm glad because I got to meet you. You are an amazing woman and I love your kids. Will you marry me? You're nothing like Boris and you're one of the sweetest men I know, and I'm glad for that. So, yes, I will. We're now gathered today to celebrate the love of a young couple. Do you, Mark, take Doris to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And do you, Doris, take Mark to be your lawfully wedded husband? I, I now do. officially pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is I can't wait. Life, bring it on I'm ready for you. Hey guys, I want you to dress fancy. Because today, we're going to a special event. Where are we going? Get dressed. And you'll find out. Okay. Well Caillou, we're ready. So what's the special event you're talking about? Well, you see, today I am going to marry Dora. Wow. That is one special event. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go tell Mom and Rosie too, and let's go. Okay. Oh, here it comes. I can't wait for them to kiss. We are here to celebrate the marriage of Caillou and Dora. Do you, Dora, take Caillou to be your lovely wedded husband? I do. And do you, Caillou? Take Dora to be your lovely wedded wife. I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ah, this marriage is much more better than the first marriage I saw. I really love it marriage. I know, right? It's so beautiful. I ship Caillou and Dora. Me too. They're perfect for each other. Well Caillou, we're so proud of you. For that, Dora's parents and I had a special reward for you and Dora. First things first, Dayu, and the rest of his brothers you can go home now. Okay. And you, bots, can go home now. Okay. Here it is, your new house. We already pay for it. And now, you two can go in. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, Caillou. Well, I got to go. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Well, we're off to walk. Bye, Dora. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, Mom. Ah, this is great. We finally got a new house. And I am so glad that you're with me. Me too. This is the book that I kept for like over 20 years of him. Well, let's see. Ah, here it is. Boris is a young child for us. It all started with him so young, he then made some new friends, they were Doris, and Martin, Miguel and, Miami. They had a good time together. He at first liked going to Chuck E. Cheese's. And that is because of pizza, and new games to win prizes. And that is from the photo of him eating pizza, and winning games with Doris. And there's Boris with his friends in a class picture. And right in school, he enjoyed playing basketball with Miguel. And then there's this lovely part, him and Doris are in the streets talking like one of the lovely dubbies. And then there's our favorite part, he is with us in each picture, and we love him so dearly. Well, that's all the photos we have. So, what do you think? Wow. Even looking at the photos still makes me miss him even more. Oh, so sorry. I'll put this book away. I wish there was something we can do. Wait, I just have an idea to help our son. Really? What is it? Well, we are not going to let Kawaii think it's perfect for himself. 
We'll show him. But, what's the plan? Don't worry, I'm for sure that this plan will be useful. I know it will. Oh shoot, let's get out of here. Okay. Huh? Who? Who are you? It is none of your business. Now, give us weapons. Um, um, um. Okay, fine. Here, here are some weapons. Now please, leave me alone, and go away. Thank you for me, boy 9000, and have a good day. Wait, who are you? We'll show you. Wait, what? It's some grandparents. That's right, it is us, some grandparents. And now we're going to shot and cut you. So now surrender, and I'm for sure that Boris and Ms. Martin will keep you company. <laughs> Come on, sweetie, let's put our weapons away, and let's get out of here. Okay. Oh my gosh, old parents, committing murderer. How can that be? I have no idea, but I'm thinking it's not going to look good. Can I you? I don't feel so good. Oh, what's going on, Dora? My stomach doesn't feel so well, I feel so fat, I didn't even eat that much. Wait, that's it, I know why you're not feeling so good. Really, what is it? You're pregnant. Wait, so, I'm pregnant. Yes, so, what are we waiting for, we have to go to the hospital. Okay, let's go. Don't worry, Dora, we'll have the baby out of you in a jiffy. Okay, here we go. Congratulations. Is a baby boy. What would you like to name it? Carlos. Alright, Carlos it is. Thank you doctors, we are going to go home now. Okay, see you later, and take care of the baby. Welcome to your new home, Carlos, enjoy. Oh. Can I you? I don't feel so good again, and it's all of the stomach being so fat. Wait, you're pregnant, again. I have to take you to the hospital for the second time. Well now, I see you came back because you're having another baby. Well, let's do this. Congratulations. It's a baby girl. What would you like to name it? Diana. Well, that's it then. Well, we're going to go home now. Well, okay then. See you later. Oh, and by the way, it will be named Diana. Alright, goodbye. I can't believe we have another child. Hey Carlos, come here. Well, we're no family with our new kids. I like it. Hey sweetie, I have an idea that probably will help us in our plan. Why don't we go cloth shopping to buy ourselves a little, as you may say, a disguise? Sure. And it will help us so that nobody will notice us. Well, here we are, the store, so, what should we buy as a disguise? Well, there's one idea for a disguise. You see, the only part that will reveal ourselves, is our face. So, we're going to need a disguise to cover our face completely. Okay, so let's go find one. Hey sweetie, I found a disguise that I could wear. So have I. What did you get? I got a hoodie and a mask. And it matches to what I'm wearing. Wow. What a coincidence. I got that too. Well, let's go pay for it. Okay.
We would like to buy these things please. Sure, that will be $20.75. Here you go, $20.75 in total. Thank you very much. And have a good day. Okay sweetie, let's put on our disguise. Wow. Our costumes are great. Let's test them. But, how? I know, how about we rob a bank? Alright, let's go. Ah oh, yes. Money. More money, all ours. Alright, let's take it all. Alright, we got them all. Mission complete. Now, let's get out of here. Man, these costumes are great. And they're perfect for our crime. Huh. I wonder who's at the door. I'll go check. Hi Mom, hi Dayu, and hi Rosie. Hi Caillou. Hi Caillou. Hi Caillou. Oh, and kids, this is your grandma, Caillou's mom, your uncle, Dayu, and your aunt, Rosie. Hi, hi grandma. grandma, hi Uncle Dayu, hi Aunt Rosie, it's, it's really, really nice, nice to meet you. you. Oh, Caillou, we have some horrifying news to tell you. Really? What is it, Dayu? Well, did you watch the news a few days ago? Yeah, why? Mom, you tell him. Well, you see, in the news, we realized that those killers remind us of something. We're thinking it might be people that we never saw ever again. She's right. And basically, their clothes are so familiar to us. Oh my gosh, if they are familiar, we have to make sure we won't be our next targets. And I'll make sure that they won't touch our beloved kids. Okay kids, I want you to pay attention to this, me and Dora are going to hunt for those thieves that has been shown on TV. Right now, I don't want you guys to come with us. It's too dangerous. But in the meantime, my mom will be your babysitter until we get back, right now give your mom and dad a hug. Goodbye Daddy. Goodbye, Goodbye kids. Goodbye, Goodbye Mommy. Goodbye kids. Well, Mom, we're going to go now. Okay, Caillou. Goodbye. Hey, sweetie, why don't we steal some alcohol so that we can be pure? Sure, let's go. Huh. Who's that? Oh, man, I have to call Caillou about this. Hello, Caillou. This is Sam Steger. I'm calling you to let you know that some thieves are heading to the saloon bar. Please come, right away. Hey you, give us all the alcohol you have. What? Why? Who are you guys anyway? This is none of your business. Eeeesh, why does everyone keep asking us that? That's getting a little old. Now give us all the alcohol you have right now. No. I'm not going to give you all the alcohol I have in this saloon bar. Now go away right now, or I'm calling the police. Fine then, you leave us no choice but to kill you. So die you dumb monster. Let's get all the alcohol, and let's get out of here. It's all in the bag. Great. Now let's go. Uh, where are they? Well, are they there yet? No, they're not even here yet. Well, when are they coming? Well, here we are. Did we miss them? Unfortunately, you guys did. Say, uh, sweetie, why don't we go buy some flowers for our son and Miss Martin? Sure. But first, we're going to have to take our disguises off if we're going to buy some flowers, not stealing them. Okay. Hello miss, we would like to buy these flowers please. That would be ten dollars please. Here you go, ten dollars exactly. Thank you very much. Have a good day.
Okay, we got the flowers, and we're back in our disguises. Now, we're going to the graveyard. Okay, let's go. Well, here we are, the graveyard, and there's our son's grave, and Miss Martin's grave. Let's give them these flowers and show him how we feel. Oh, Boris, we miss you a lot. You made a good treasure to us. But, you're dead, and we will never forget you in our life. Even when you made your choice, we miss you and Miss Martin. Same here, Boris, I miss you too, and when you had two wits coming, I still miss you in my life. We know why, you change your feelings. And, and the that reason was, because, because of that, that annoying little brat, brat Calum, and you. And which is the which reason why we're trying to kill you. Kill you. But first, but first, we're trying to train, we're trying ourselves. To train ourselves. Come on, sweetie, let's go and do what we've got to do. Hey, is those thieves on TV? You're caught for good. You have to catch us first, are you? But, I know you'll never catch us. Hey, come back here you vandals. You get them, Caillou and Dora, don't let them get away. Quick, sweetie, let's go this way. Quick, Dora, this way. Come back here this instinct. Oh my gosh, is that? Yes. Yes it is. Caillou and Dora are chasing after the thieves. We better call the cops for them. Okay. I call the cops. Hello, this is Alan the Cartoon Maker. I'm calling because my friends and I saw the thief shown on TV. And they're on the road running away from Kawaii and Dora. Please hurry. Okay, thank you guys. Goodbye. The cops are on their way to catch those crooks. I hope they're not too late. Oh, there they go. Catch them cops. Catch them. Go get them cops. Go, Go get, get them. them. We caught you, you're cornered. There's no escape for you rotten thieves. Now, who are you and what are you playing? Shut it, how are you? You want to know who we are? Well, we'll show you. What? Grandma. Grandpa. Why are you guys doing this? It's hard to say wait. But you're the one who caused this. And now that you know who we are, it's time for you and your wife to die. Hold it. You're under arrest. Police, arrest them. Don't worry, K.I.U. and Dora, we got them for you. Also, I have an appointment for you two to attend. We're going to have a trial. On those grandparents of yours. So, you're coming? Yes, yes we're, we're coming. coming. Okay. See you later. Well, that's done. I can't wait to finish those guys off. Oh, hi Caillou and Dora. Welcome back home. So how did it go? Did you catch those thieves? Yes. But there's a problem. It was actually Boris' parents that were the thieves. Or to say in my generation, my paternal grandparents. What? It was Boris' parents that were the thieves? You have got to be kidding me. Sadly no, we are not kidding. We caught them, and they're in prison. But Tamara, we're going to court to prove if they're guilty or innocent. Oh my gosh! I can't believe this. Well, anyway, we're going to settle this once and for all. Yes, we'll stop them and figure out why they're doing this. But first, we're going to need Dayu and Rose's help. Would you like to call them, please? Sure. Hello, Dayu. We need your help. Along with Rosie's help, we're going to court to deal with the thieves who were Boris' parents. So please, prepare yourselves. And don't be late. They're coming. But in the meantime, let's go! Okay.
All right, we're here for the court case. Karayu versus Bo's parents. All right, I, Paul Verdi, will like to call the first witness who is Jean Seville. Jean Seville, can you please say what has happened in your statement? Well, you see, I was outside just walking on the streets, and then when I was about to go to the store, I saw some grandparents with disguises which were exactly the ones they wear. Thank you, Jean Seville. That will be all. All right, the next witness I'm going to call is Clarence T.M. All right, Clarence T.M., tell us in your statement what has happened. Well, I was walking on the streets, and I saw they shot some people, which was horrifying. All right, the next witness I'm going to call is Fireboy 9000. Well, Fireboy 9000, what do you have to say in your statement? Well, I was in the store as a seller for anything they can take, but then... I saw a bunch of thieves who were wanting the weapons. Also, they took the weapons without even paying. All right then, thanks for speaking. Okay, next witness, Stefan Swabi. All right, Stefan Swabi, what do you have to say? Well, I was in the streets, enjoying my time, until I saw some thieves coming, and I heard a huge explosion which is a gunshot. It was frightening I must admit it. Okay. That's all we want to hear. Next witness I'm going to call is Alan the Cartoon Maker. All right, please state in your own sentence what has happened. Well, I was walking in the streets with my friends, and we saw Karayu and Dora chasing those thieves that were harming us. So I called the cops immediately. Wow. That was a smart move you did. Okay, that's all we want to hear. All right, the last witness will be Richie Verdi. Well, Richie. What do you have to say to what happened in your experience? Well, you see, I was walking down the streets to go to the store, and then I saw the thieves in each store, and I was shocked to see it. They also stole money from the bank. Thank you. That will be all. Okay. Caillou, do you have anything to say? Well, like what everyone said, my grandparents robbed and killed everyone that got in their way. My grandparents state that the reason that they do this is because of me. It just doesn't make any sense. Because it's your fault that our awesome son had died. How is it my fault? Because you act like a child with no life and give our son a hard time with your pathetic tantrums. First off, while Boris was still alive, he grounded Caillou for a lot of stupid reasons like walking in the house or even existing. Boris even abuses him for even getting grounded while he was still a child. So, it doesn't matter. He can do whatever he wants with Kaiyu. Boris is a perfect angel. We even taught him how to ground everyone and even plants when he was a child. Wow. That's just stupid. Besides, none of you are the boss of our sexy son. He can do whatever he wants. This just proves that they're guilty of crime. I second that. I say they're guilty too. Me three. We all think they're guilty. All right. As the court, I have made the decision to say that Boris' parents are represented as guilty. For that, they will be executed. Well, nasty grandparents, do you have any final words to say? Well, no. Then, farewell forever. Another mission accomplished. We can finally live in a peaceful world. I love it. I really do. Well, I can't believe this is my last day of college. Students, please come to the auditorium right now. Students, thank you so much for applying to this college and had a good time. Since today is the last day, we decided to give out treats in the exit. Please get them and enjoy them. Here you go kids, enjoy your treats, and once again, thank you for coming. Say, huh? Guys, I got to go now. I have to prepare myself since I'm living by myself. Okay Caillou, see you later. Bye Caillou. Goodbye Caillou. Hey, there's a house I can live in. I'll see if Mom can purchase this.
But first, I'm going to have to go home and tell her about this. What? Dad, what are you doing here? Well, I just came back from the fancy restaurant, and now that you're back, you're going to live with me now. What? Are you kidding me? I don't want to live with you. Shut it, Caillou. When I said you're living with me, you are living with me. But why should I live with you? I'm older to make my own decisions. Even you should know that. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm still your parent, and you must do what I tell you to do. Well, I said I don't want to live with you good for nothing grounds it dead, so just live with it. Oh, 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 Caillou, how dare you call me a good-for-nothing grounding dad and refuse to live with me? That's it. You're coming with me right now and you're grounded, grounded, grounded for three days. You see? This is what I'm talking about and you don't even care. Because I'm doing what's right. Now come on! You know what? Fine, but don't come crying to me that you made the wrong decision. Oh, and give me those cookies. You don't even deserve them. Man, I don't know what will happen, but I hope something good will happen. Now I should be careful now since I'm living here. Caillou, get your butt over here right now. What is it, Dad? I want you to get dressed because today it's a special day. Really? What is it? You'll just have to get dressed and see. Okay. I'm ready, Dad. So what's this special day about? Today, we're going to church to have myself and Miss Martin get married. Are you telling me that after a few days of myself in college, you two weren't even together forever? That's right, Caillou. Miss Martin and I didn't get married in the first place, and now it's the time for us to get married. Man, I'm going to be sick. Still, it didn't make any sense at all. Maybe you'll find out how it makes sense. But now, let's go. I'm going to be bored and disgusted at the same time. This wedding is going to be exciting. You're right. Hey, I got an idea. I'll go to Chuck E. Cheese's. And besides, it's been a long time since I went to the place. Oh no. Boris's son has escaped. If Boris finds out, his son would be grounded. You are so right. Yay. I made it to Chuck E. Cheese's. Oh no. The marriage is about to start. We are hereby together to celebrate two insane lovers. Man, I wish I never assigned to do this. Okay. Do you? Miss Martin take Boris to be your lovely wedded husband. I do. And you Boris, take Miss Martin to be your lovely wedding wife? I do. I now pronounce you husband, and wife. You make us the bride. Oh, crud. This marriage is getting me sick. Man, that wedding is really romantic. I would agree with you, sir. I'm sorry, but I think this is really the most insane marriage I ever saw. I know, right? And going with Caillou's teacher is just crazy. Ah, that wedding was great, wasn't Miss Martin? You bet it was. Wait a minute, where's Caillou? He was just here. Wait a minute, I think I have an idea where he is. He might be a Chuck E. Cheese's. Come on, let's go get him. I want a teddy bear. And no one knows where I am. <laughs> Caillou, how dare you skip our wedding and go to Chuck E. Cheese's. That's it. Get in the car and let's go home. Caillou, you're grounded, grounded, grounded for 56 days. Now it's time for punishment. First punishment, slap you in the butt five times. Second punishment, making you eat tomato soup. 
Last and third punishment, kick you in the bot to your room. Why? Huh, who is it? Hey, it's Gilbert. How did you find me? Well, never mind that. Please, come inside. Man, he's so happy to see you, Gilbert. I thought I'll never see you again. Kalu, come downstairs right now. Ah. Uh. That's dead. Hang on. I'll be right back, Gilbert. Come on, Caillou. It's time for breakfast. What? It doesn't look like we're having breakfast. It looks like we're having lunch. Well, this is the only thing we have for today. So please, enjoy. I finished my breakfast, Dad. Okay. Sorry, Gilbert. I was having some breakfast. Now we can have fun. Caillou, where are you? Hey, what's Gilbert doing here? I... Huh? 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 I found him outside scratching the door. Well, Gilbert can't stay here. In fact, I was thinking about a way you can do to get ungrounded, and now I found it. You must return him to the pound. What? Why do I have to return him? I'm sorry, but it's either he's gone, or you're still grounded. Oh boy. Welcome to the pound. How can I help you? We will like to return this cat to the pound, please. No, Dad, please don't do this. Caillou, you and I agree to this, so quit your complaining now. Fine. So, okay, we will like to return this cat. Okay. Thank you for coming. Please come again. Goodbye, Gilbert. Gilbert is gone. Let's party. War. Great. Now my cat is gone and this is my third day with my good for nothing ground to die. I'm nervous. Man, it's still sad that Gilbert is gone. Now I have nothing to do. Wait, I know, I'll go outside. After all, I have nothing to do inside, so maybe there's something outside I could do, like, take a walk. And perhaps I could go to Chalky e. Cheese's. Wait, are you Caillou? Huh? Yeah? Why? Who are you? Don't you know me? I'm one of your lost brothers, Dayu. Wait, my family never told me I had a brother. Here's what happened. When we were young, Mom gave birth to eight kids, which were you. I, and the six brothers remain until all of a sudden, Dad thinks it's so irritating having more kids, so I decided to come up with a plan to get rid of some of us. He looked up online for a place to get rid of a child such as the adoption center. And so there we are, in the adoption center. And he decided to keep you in the house, and when you and mom are not looking, he had Ms. Martin's phone number written. And then later on, mom found out, and she was wondering what is this he wrote, and believe me, she was screaming the daylights out of him. And then he apologized to mom and said he will never call and not get into Ms. Martin ever again. And that's what happened. Oh, and by the way, Rosie is your not your actual sister, she's your half-sister. And to also add on, her actual mom is, Ms. Martin. So wait, Dad was hooking up with Ms. Martin in the first place, and that's when Rosie was born. That's right. 
man, I'm so angry with my dad for not telling me all this, he lied to me and the whole family this whole time, what a world of backstabber. Anyways, it's great to see you guy you, want to come and live with me, are you serious? That would be spectacular. Hey Caillou, want to go to Chuck E. Cheese's to celebrate? Yeah, let's go. Man, this is so much fun. What? I thought I got rid of you for good. So, we meet again, Boris. After what you did to me and the rest, you are not going to mess with us. Technically, I can. Also, I broke up with your mother, so now I'm with Miss Martin. She's at least more hotter than Doris. Oh and by the way, we're going home right now. Caillou, I can't believe you just left the house without my permission. I would have grounded you, but here's the deal I'm going to tell you. If you get rid of Dayu, you will not receive a punishment, but if you're not, then you will receive a punishment. I choose to not get rid of him, because ever since you treated him badly he deserves to stay. Also, I need someone in my side, and he is the only one in my side. Fine then, if that's the case, you're grounded grounded ground grounded for 1238573983298528. Eight three two four seven five eight nine five eight nine two five five eight zero years. Go to your room right now. What? Man, I can't believe I'm grounded, but I did want to keep you. This is my fourth day living with my dad. But now, I am anxious of what might happen. Man, I wonder where Caillou is. I hope he's okay. Hello? Oh. Hi guys, what is it? What? College is over? Did Caillou left? Where is he now? Oh, he's with his friends? Okay, thanks. So far, they said that Caillou was with his friends, but I'll call each of them to make sure it's true. Hello, is this Caillou's friends moms? I'm calling each of you to tell me if Caillou was with your kids. What? He was, but now he left? Okay, thanks for answering. Bye. They said he was, but now he's not. Rosie, I want you to be in your best behavior. I'm going to find Caillou. Okay, mommy. I'm still unhappy that I'm grounded after yesterday. Hey Caillou, why don't you take a walk? I'll make sure Dad doesn't notice. After all, you need fresh air. Okay then. Wait, Mom, is that you? Caillou? Oh, it is you. Where have you been? Oh. Uh. 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 I was with um. 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 You were with who? Oh my gosh. Caillou, how dare you leave the house and try to find you slutty mother? First off, why are you screaming at Caillou? And how dare you call me a slutty mother? Well, I married Miss Martin and Caillou is supposed to stay with me, for goo. And Caillou, you're coming with me right now, and you will receive punishment. Oh, and goodbye to you, you good for nothing slut. Man, I can't believe Caillou has to live with him. I better do something about it, and quick. I can't believe you escaped the house again and tried to find your slutty mother. First off, I was just taking a walk. I don't care. You and I you will receive a punishment, and I know the perfect one. You two will get slapped on the butt. What? 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 Stop it, Dad. No. This is what you little brats deserve. I know how you feel. My butt feels so too. Caillou and Dayu, come downstairs right now. Oh my gosh, what does dad want this time? There you two are, Miss Martin and I have a surprise for you too. Really? What is it, dad? If we tell you, then it won't be a surprise, 
So get in the car and let's go. Hey dad, can you tell us what the surprise is now? Not yet, like I said before, I'm going to tell you the surprise when we get there. Oh, okay, fine. Man, I wonder what the surprise is. However, one surprise that I expect is Chucky Cheeses. This isn't Chucky Cheeses. Hey dad, where are we? Well Caillou and Dayu, we're at the bar. What? Why in the world are we in the bar, dad? Well Caillou and Dayu, we're here to have beers. Now I'm going to order some beers. Hey, we will like to order four beers please. Here you guys go, enjoy. Okay. Caillou and Dayu, you guys are not drinking your beers. Because we don't want you dirty drunk dad. A dear boy Caillou, show him what you're made of. Well Caillou and Dayu if you two are not going to drink your beers, then we will force you to drink. Gulp 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 gulp. You. Oh my gosh, Caillou and Dayu, how dare you refuse to drink beer and made my sexy sweater all wet. That's it, we're going home right now. Caillou and Dayu, you're ground grounded 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 for five months. Now it's time for punishment. First punishment, drink your own pee. Water. Second punishment, kicking you in the balls really hard. Water. Last and third punishment, make you wear nappies. Water. Now go to your room now. Water. Living with dad is most disturbing to us. Yeah, I know. Caillou and Dayu, come downstairs right now. Oh my gosh, what does dad want now? Caillou and Dayu, I almost forgot to mention that you two will be outside as a punishment. How is that a punishment? Yeah, Caillou does have a point on that. Because you two will be outside for eight hours. Now go right now. Man, being outside all day for 8 hours stinks. Yeah, I know. Hey Dayu, now that we're outside, how about we start to have our own fun? Yeah, I agree with you. Let's have fun. After all, we'll be fine by our own. And probably we can go to McDonald's and Chuck E. Cheese's. Welcome to McDonald's. How can I help you? We would like to have two large fresh fries, two mac chicken nuggets, and two large sodas. Coming right up. Here you all go. Enjoy. Oh, that McDonald's meal was so delicious. Yeah, I would definitely agree with you. Well, it's time to go to our next destination which is Chuck E. Cheese's. Yay! We won this game! That was the tastiest pizza ever! Uh. Hey Caillou, it's past 8 hours, shall we go home? Uh. Let me think. No, I don't think so. It's not like they're missus. Yeah, I would have to agree with you, let's stay here. Hey Miss Martin, do you have any idea where Caillou and I you are? Uh, I don't know, where are they? Hey, I think I know where they are. They might think just because they're outside means that they can still do whatever they want. And I think they might be at Chuck E. Cheese's. Come on, let's go get them. I won this game. Yay. I won this game. Hey, isn't that Miss Martin and Dad? Oh no, quick, we got to get out of here. Hey, where's Caillou and Dayu? They should be at Chuck E. Cheese's. They always like that place. Maybe they're somewhere at Chuck E. Cheese's. Come on, let's split up. Okay. Yay. We escaped from Chuck E. Cheese's and Miss Martin and Dad will never find us. Phew. That was close. Miss Martin and Dad almost caught us. Yeah, I would agree with you. If they caught us, we would have been in more punishment than ever before. 
Hey Miss Martin, did you find those brats? No, have you? No, where can they be? World M and M's world. Wow, these toys are great. Hey Dayu, let's give some M and M's for free. Okay. Yummy, that was the tastiest M and M's I ever had. Yup, they were so delicious. I really miss our mom. Why don't we try to find her? Why not? We don't even deserve to live with Dad and that annoying teacher, Miss Martin. Hang on, Mom. We're coming. I think she's in there. Caillou. It's great to see you again. Wait, is that... Dayu. It's you? Oh, I'm so glad that you two are still safe. Anyway, what are you doing here? Can we try to live with you, Mom? Why sure, please come in. Hey Mom, who's there? Oh my gosh, can are you? You're back. But wait, who's that? I'm Dayu, Caillou's little brother. Oh and by the way, Ms. Martin was supposed to be your mom, not Doris. Doris, where is Caillou and Dayu? We're pretty sure that they might be in there. Well, um, uh, they're at, uh, um. Well, never mind. We'll just find them ourselves. Hey! Come back here. Caillou and Dayu, how dare you escape the house and try to find your own mother? Now just hold it right there. How dare you try to treat Caillou and Dayu badly? Well, we don't care if we are treating them badly. They have to learn their lesson. Oh, and by the way, since they're trying to be with you, we're going to do like what some parents do. Oh, what's that? We're going to settle this in the trial with the court. We'll see if Caillou and Dayu wants to stay with you, or if they can just live with me and Miss Martin. Oh, all right then, it's on. Right now, we're out of here. Are you okay guys? Don't worry, it's okay. Doris versus Boris. In should Caillou and Dayu live with Doris, or live with Boris and Miss Martin? Let the court case start. First, I call Caillou to the stand. Okay, Caillou, what do you have to say to us? Well, Dad has been treated me and Dayu badly. I finished college and wanted to live somewhere by myself, but then Dad came out of nowhere and forces me to live there. I object. Mr. Boris. Do you have to say something? Yes, first off, Caillou, I wanted you to live with me, but you were too stubborn to listen and act like a total baby towards Dad, me. You must also understand that I'm older and I can make my own choices. Well, Boris, what do you have to say about this? Well, here's something that proves my point. Caillou is such an idiot who thinks he can do whatever he wants, so to those who are on his side, you guys all suck and need to get Caillou. alive. You are such a total cry baby and you are such a total loser. Rosie you have no sense in mind. And Doris, you are such a slutty whore. Oh my gosh, hey guys, that is even more proof that Boris is guilty. Yeah, he's right. I would have to agree too. Yeah, and even after all the times Caillou went through with him, that so is reasonable to say he's guilty. Boris you're guilty, not innocent. Order, order. Okay, the choice it's made. Boris, you are guilty and will receive punishment. What? No, this can't be. Oh boy. That's right. Now you and Miss Martin will receive punishment from your nightmare. Now let's go. Oh no, this is not good. It's time for me to beat you up after going against me. Here I go. There, that takes care of it. 
They're beat up really badly and they are now dead. I'm sure glad that the court case is over. Hey, Gilbert is back. Well, Gilbert, I'm so glad you're back. Mom, Dayu, and Rosie, this has been one of the best days of my life. Mom, can I stay here until I have a new home? And Dayu too. Of course, Kalo. You can stay here until you have a new home, and Dayu is welcome to stay with us. Oh boy, thank you, Mom. Huh? Where am I? Hey, Miss Martin, wake up. Hold on, where are we? I don't know. But I'm thinking that it's going to get ugly. Come on, let's find a way out. Oh, yes, let's go. Hold it right there. Who, who are you? I'm oh, Satan. well, if it isn't Boris and Ms. Martin. You two are in hell, and you know what happens when you're in hell, it is time to send you two into the lake of fire. No, 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 don't do this, please. Sorry, but this is my job. So let's do this. <laughs> ha! Huh. You think we're gone for good? Well, we're out of here. Oh, and Caillou. You think we're gone? Well, think again. Oh, uh, oh. oh my gosh. Who are you? Who else would we be? We're the ghost of Boris and Ms. Martin. What? What are you going to the toes? Oh, this is something you and this world will regret. Have this taste. No! 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 It's time to make you all regret for what you done, idiots. Ha 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 ha. No! 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 Oh, hi guys, what are you doing here? We want to tell you something that might shock you, right now we're worried and scared. Oh, please, come in. So, tell me, what's going on? Well, you see, Miguel and I were sleeping, and all of a sudden creepy voices came and said that we're all going to regret for what we did to them. Wait? Who them? Well, this might shock you, but I tell you where the Boris and MS. Martin as ghost. Wait, they came over to your house as real ghosts. Frankly, yes. And where not the onions. On television, you say the news that every witness saw Boris and MS. Martin as ghost and where reporting about it. So me believe it, will the others think it's bogus? I'm going to check on the news now to see if they're still announcing it. I report this news about that people are getting haunted by ghosts they saw. Here we have some witnesses who saw it and wanted to show proof. Here are the following witnesses. Stefan Swabby, Gumball Waterson, King Lamcock, Ryan Rodriguez, Mandy Moore 13, and Ryan Lester Animations. Well, we saw those ghosts that came to our house, and we have proof by photos. Here take a look. Well, there you have it guys, those were the reactions to the people who witnesses ghosts. Thank you, and have a good day.
Hang on, can be excused? Oh, Hator is mom and dad. We kind of overheard the news, is it true? Yes, Caillou, it's true. Wait, where's mom? Man, this is crazy. We got to do something. Yeah, man's right. We're going to have to come up with a way to stop them. It's up to you guys. I feel so angry that Boris and Ms. Martin are still out there. Yeah, I know how you feel. I'm really pissed off too. Hey Dayu, I wonder what's happening outside. Yeah, me too. Wait, who are they? I don't know. Maybe we should follow them. Yeah, let's go. Hey, come back here. Don't move. We caught you. Now who are you? Hello, my name is Paryu. And I'm Fauyu. Wait a minute, are you guys one of K.I.U's lost brothers? Yes. Why didn't you say so? So anyway, why were you two running? We're trying to find Caillou. Wait, we know where Caillou is. Come on. Okay. Here you guys go. Goodbye. Bye. Wait, who are you two? We are one of your brothers. I'm part you, and this is fair you. Wow. One of my other brothers has returned. Please come in. Hey Dayu, I have good news for you. Really, what is it? Come out guys. Well, what do you think? Oh my gosh, poor you and fair you. You two are still alive. It's great to see you again. It's great to see you too Dayu. What's going on? Oh my gosh, Paiyu and Fayu, you two are still alive, and have returned safely. Give me a hug! Oh, Fayu, I'm just so glad you're safe. Oh, Paiyu, I'm so glad you have returned too. Wow! I can't believe it, is that really the amount of brothers Caillou has, mommy? I'm really sorry Rosie, but that's not all of Caillou's brothers. There's still more that haven't returned. What? Why? I want to know what were Caillou's brothers like 100% with no brother left behind. I'm sorry Rosie, but I know that there are still some brothers missing that Caillou has. Oh, too bad. Oh, hey mom, can me and my brothers go out for a walk? Why, sure Caillou. Just be back before supper time. Okay mom. Come on, Rosie. It's nap time for you. Okay, Mommy. There it is, guys. The ghost hunters. Could they really actually capture some ghosts? I heard they can. So let's try it. Okay. Oh, hello, gentlemen. How can I help you? There are ghosts around the world that are hunting many people. Okay, I'll call them. Hello, this is Xcreeperkmexx. I'm calling because you guys have a job to do. Okay, see you there. Goodbye. They're coming right now. Oh, and by the way, I found two people that have been out in the streets. I bet you know them. Hey, it's Beru and Mayu. Hi guys. Hello to you two. Anyway, welcome back to the family. Okay, they're here. They will help you catch the ghosts that you are expecting us to catch. Don't worry kids, we'll help you catch these ghosts.
Oh no, Caillou has found more brothers of his, and he's calling the ghost hunters, we're in trouble. Well now, this should be leading to good news, with ghost hunters helping us, I'm sure Boris and Ms. Martin will be gone for good this time. Hey guys, why don't we go to Chuck E. Cheese's as a celebration? Well, yes, that is the good idea, let's go. Okay. Now, this was fun, why don't we head home? Okay. Wait, uh, guys, how do you think the ghost hunters are doing? Okay, everyone ready? Take out your weapons. I am ready to get rid of these ghosts. Now, where are they? I don't see them anywhere. Yet. What was that? Where are you? Come out, come out. Ha 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 You thought you can get rid of us, well now there is no use to use these so-called weapons to kill us. Come on Miss Martin, let's go. Well now, we're back at home. Oh my gosh, Caillou and his brothers found more brothers that belong in the family. So wait, who are the other brothers he found are named? They are named, Bayou and Mayu. Those are the last brothers, right? Please tell me that those are all the brothers Caillou has. I'm sorry Rosie, but there are only a few brothers left of Caillou. What? I thought those were the last brothers. Man, there is so much to try to keep count of. Anyway, Mom, we're going to watch TV. Okay. Come on, Rosie. It's time for you to go back to your nap. Okay, Mommy. Maybe we should watch the news. Hey, maybe we can try to see if the ghost hunters succeed their mission. That's a good idea, Caillou. Let's do it. Okay, let's see what's on news today. Oh, no. This is not good. The ghost hunters were our only hope. And now they fail us. Um, 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 I'll go answer the door. Oh, hey guys, what are you doing here? Well, we came here to give you the people who belong to you. I think they're part of your family. Wait. Really, who are they? Wow. It's my other brothers, please coming. Anyway, thanks for finding them guys, farewell. Goodbye, Caillou. This one of the worst moments in our life ever, I wish there was something we can do. Hey Caillou, what are you so happy about? Well, when I was at the door, we had more guests, which I want to know who their names are. Hey guys, come in. Hey, isn't that you, and Tayu? Welcome back to the family, you guys. Hey guys, are you okay? Oh my gosh! The last brothers have arrived. Give me a hug. Oh, welcome home, Nayu. And welcome back to you too, Tayu. Anyway, what are you guys watching? Well, we were watching the news. Oh, really? What was the news about? Oh, well, um, 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 you know how Boris and Ms. Martin are ghosts and we're trying to get rid of them. Uh. Yeah, why? Well, you see, there were ghost hunters, or to actually call them ghostbusters that were trying to get rid of Boris and Ms. Martin, but they were this strong and now they're haunted. And were taken to the hospital. What? 
They can't even stop them because they said they're too strong for them. Well, Boris, I am so proud of ourselves for haunting other people around for revenge. I am so proud of ourselves, too. But you know what I'm also proud of? What's that? That we have a new house for ourselves, because our old house has been sold by someone else, and now we have a new house that is haunted. Ah, this is the best moment we have, ever. Hey Boris, I'm going to check the laptop to see how many people are left in this world. Sure, please go ahead. Wow. Boris, you might want to look at this. What is it? Show me. Wow. That's amazing. I'm really impressed. Except there are only a few people that we have to go after left. And they are, Caillou's family and Dora's family. Oh, and I forgot to mention random people, to who I don't know. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go haunt the remaining people in this crazy world. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, Boris and Miss Martin are coming. We better get ourselves running. Now. Hey. Come back here you random guys. You will be ours. We lost them, right? Please tell me we lost them. Oh shoot. We're toast. Ha 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 Well Miss Martin, let's go. Well, it's time for the big part, time to go to Dora's house, they're our second top targets of all. Wow, that was the best kiss I had ever received, thanks Dora. You're very welcome, Caillou. Well, goodbye Dora. Goodbye Caillou. Ha! Those spoil brats are gone, now's our chance. Come on, let's go. Well, no. What's all the weather? Oh, uh, sweetie, look out behind you. What? Daddy, look out right behind you. Oh my gosh, Boris and M.S. Martin, what are you doing in our house? Well, we're going to do a special hunt down to each of your souls. Here we go. Ha 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 ha. That takes care of it. Now it's time to take them to our special place where they'll meet their nightmare. Wait, is that Boris and Miss Martin? And wait, they have Dora's family's bodies. Quick, I'll call Caillou and his family. Hello, is this Caillou? I'm here to tell you that there are two ghosts, Boris and Miss Martin, that has Dora and her family. They passed us. Please come help them. Okay, goodbye. Caillou said that he's coming to help Dora. I just hope he's not too late. I can't believe this. Now Dora is captured along with her family, and I don't even know what Boris and Miss Martin are going to do to them. But still, I'm going out and saving them like how a hero should do. Even like those that I remember in while playing Nintendo video games. But first, I'm going to have to set up my army. Ah, welcome Dora, and including her family to your worst nightmare. We've been planning this out all day for this. We even have special surprises to make you all be dead, 
forever. Ah, here's something that maybe be helpful. Here they are, a knife, and a gun. Miss Martin, you take the knife and deal with Dora and Boots, while I'll deal with Miguel and Miami with the gun. Hey! I don't remember seeing this house before. How about we check inside? After all, maybe we might find Boris and Miss Martin. Oh my gosh, this may be led to the intense situations. Anyway, hey, Boris and Ms. Martin. Open the door. Oh shoot, Caillou and his brothers found us. That's it. It's time to finish Caillou and his brothers, so that they can stop humiliating us. Okay. Oh shoot, it's Boris and Ms. Martin. Well, if it isn't Caillou with the rest of his little brats, I am really impressed that you found all of your brothers, but you all will be dead with weapons we have. Hey, we're not little brats, you're the most annoying brats in this world. Shut it die you. Anyway, if you want to see your little friends again, you have to pass us first. Oh, but wait, you don't have anything to stop us. Ha 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 Miss Martin, please call you. You got it, Boris. Well, Caillou, it's time to shoot you. Any final words, Caillou? No, 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 no. Don't shoot me. I don't want to die. Well, too bad. Goodbye. Huh. I'm not dead. What happened? Hey, put the gun down, and let go of the child. Um, 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 um. Yes, uh, okay. Boris and Ms. Martin, how dare you leave the lake of fire when you weren't supposed to? That's it, by the power of God, I will send you two back to where you came from, which is hell, and you two will vanish forever for all eternity. Now let me set the others free. Oh, but first let me confiscate the gun. Now, let's get you guys out of here. Caillou, you did it. You saved Dora and her family. I'm so proud of you, and you had stopped Boris and Miss Martin with a little help from your brothers. At first, we all think this is hard and tricky to stop them. Man, guys, this is bad. And tricky.